Jody back at it in the shop again today. I'm going to try to get this digging knife finished today, guys. I got the, the rivets cut, and I'll give you guys a close-up of that just in a second because I'm going to put them on the uh, belt grinder and grind off all these rough edges. And then we'll drill our holes, get them preset, and then we'll use this uh, ball pin hammer that I got right here, this ball end, to set our rivets with. That's our plan anyway, guys, so we're hoping that it all comes together good, which I'm sure that it will. So stay with us. We'll get you closer to the grinder, and we'll start grinding on these, get these rough edges off of these okay, rivets, guys. guys. Got, the, got the camera set up on the grinder, and we'll get that started. We've got a rivets here. Y'all can see that. Just a copper, piece of copper. I think it's maybe an eighth of an inch. Not very big at all. I just cut it off some rolled copper that I had. Now all I'm gonna do is get these rough burrs. See that burr on the end? I'm just gonna get that off so I can use these cleanly. That's what we're gonna do with the belt grinder, guys. Yes, that copper does get hot. Okay, guys, I got a few more of these to do. I'll turn the camera off and turn it back on when I get finished. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, guys, I was wrong on that size of that copper. It's actually 11 64ths. And what I'm gonna do here is drill my first hole to put the first rivet in, guys, to draw that a little bit tighter. Drill bit sure could be a little bit sharper. I think it's a little bent too. We've got some room here to play with, guys, because, like I said, around these edges here, I'm going to be cutting this to. Uh, or shaping it to the the way we need it to be. All right, let's get these two, and then we'll get back with you. Okay, guys, I got this one in already, and I didn't use the ball pin in. I just used the flat end, so we're going to do that again on this side. That's all we're going to do is just hold it up a little bit so it'll get established on the, the other side. Try to keep it as straight as we can. All we're doing, guys, is it's called upsetting. You just upset the end of that metal and make it swell. That's all it's called. It's called upsetting in blacksmithing. You just upset it, make it swell bigger than the hole that it's in. And there you go. There's two, two copper rivets. We got a few more, and we'll put. Probably one in the center here, and then one on the ends, and then a couple in the, the belt loop, and it'll be good, guys. All right, as soon as I get that finished, I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, this is Jody back in the house now. Got the sheath all finished. Got all the rivets in, as you can see. Three on each side, and two for the belt loop. Turned out pretty good. I like the way it looks and the shovel fits nice and snug. It's not gonna come out easily, as you can see. And it aesthetically is pleasing to me and I hope uh, Pam likes it when she receives it. But uh, that's this finished product, guys. and That'll be the end of this series. And until the next video, we'd like to say thanks for coming along and we thank you for all the recent subscribers and for all the support we get. 
and have a blessed day in Jesus' name.